Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like I'm back on Neckberidia and I got a good little story for you. You've heard of OCD, but have you heard of OKD? This is the story of OCD Anon. May God rest his soul wherever he may be. Be in movie theater with a QT date. Doesn't know about my random OCD. I usually can resist compulsions. Not today, though. We enter the movie theater. I feel compulsion to scream fire seven times extremely loud. Hold it in for 30 minutes in the movie. She says something involving the word seven. This triggers me. I start screaming. You can guess the rest of the story. She turns bright red and leaves without saying anything. No one in theater believed there was a fire. Everyone's staring at me. I start walking out of theater. Movie theater staff guy is following me. I start running. As I run out of door to theater, I get blindside tackled by security guard. Knocked unconscious. I go to hospital. Am handcuffed to the bed. Forced to go through psych evaluation. My OCD is bad enough I honestly am afraid I couldn't resist if I felt compulsion to start firing wildly in a store. One, two, three dead one two three dead one two three dead it hurts to relive these memories be in gander mountain browsing their merchandise mostly fud guns and revolvers see they have brand new px4 been eyeing one online ask to handle it they hand me the gun guy is staring at me makes me anxious ocd triggered Feel sudden urge to drop the gun. Guy looks at me weird. Can't hold back. Drop gun against the floor. Guy literally just watched me purposefully drop it on the floor. He looks at me like I'm insane. I say sorry and get anxious. Go to grab gun from floor. Compulsion comes back. Pick it up. He reaches out his hand to get it from me. I can't help myself. I drop it again. He gets angry and tells me not to touch the gun again. He comes from around counter and grabs gun. I say sorry and try to leave as quickly as possible. The dude pointed at me as I walked away and was talking to who I think was his manager. Manager yells at me to get back over here. I stop and think what I am going to do. He starts walking over. I say sorry again. I freak out and fast walk out of the store. Brisk jog get back to my truck. Drive home. Contemplate suicide. Here's a weirder one. Be working in garage on my Mini 14 after incident free day at range. Lubricating and cleaning with jumbo things of hops. See that my Mini 14 has traces of rust from me waiting too long to clean it. Get frustrated and this somehow turns into a sudden compulsion to masturbate. With hops. I really don't want to. My family's coming over for dinner and I literally have no time. I literally cannot resist a compulsion because of overwhelming stress from that thought. I smear hops on my dick. Begin jerking off in garage as quick as I possibly can. It starts to burn. Intensely. Penis tip. <laughs> the m that mushroom tip is pulsating with pain. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't come so compulsion won't go away. Literally jerk myself off till my dick is numb to the burn and I come. This took like an hour. Whole family asks why I smell like chemicals at dinner. Freaks me out and I then go to bathroom to compulsively wash my dick off. Literally blood chemical burn dick. Took a month to heal. And after this incident repeated itself the following month. I start realizing I am psychotic and need help. Get put on antipsychotics. They help tremendously. No more obsessive thoughts. My face when I could have fixed this before started ruining my life. <laughs> my face when I have no face. Or dick. Well, the second time it was actually fire clean. It burnt about the same, but noticeably slicker when jerking off. They both hurt extremely bad, and I have chemical scars from where the lubricants got into the open cuts on my dick. I have so many stories. Hmm. This is the one that scares the fuck out of me. Really bad OCD attacks all day that I've been pushing through. It is stressing me the fuck out. I have compulsion to go buy this random revolver I saw advertised in a magazine that I had stuck in my head. I didn't even want it and I hate revolvers. Just felt compelled to go purchase it. Dread this because I was trying to save money up for the Mini 14 I eventually purchased. 
walk in the gun store, ask clerk for a model, and immediately start paperwork to get it and give him my credit card. This whole situation is freaking me out because I like literally don't want to be buying this fucking thing, but I have to. I finish paperwork and walk out with the gun. I don't even have ammo for it. Go back in and buy a cheap 38 for it. No relief from obsessive thoughts. On way home, I have sudden panic attack because of the thought that I need to play Russian roulette while driving down the road. In my car and can't control urge to load gun. I say fuck it and compulsively load the revolver with two rounds. You'll see why. Wait till I get to a red light. Obsession with number two at the time. I hold the gun to my head and pull twice extremely fast while clenching my head muscles for impact. People in car next to me are literally watching me. It's a family and they are trying to yell at me through the roll down window. I'm shitting bricks and roll my window up. I realize I'm not dead and am in shock. I can't drive home yet. I pull car over and throw a gun into creek bed off side of highway. I shakily drive the rest of the way home. I don't sleep that night or that week. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is Elemental Games. Elemental Games is the largest seller of tabletop role-playing related products in the UK, and they also sell to most other countries at a great price. With 15 to 25% off Games Workshop products, it's hard to say no. However, they sell a lot more than just Games Workshop products. They sell every popular war game you can think of, as well as board games, card games, and role-playing games. Thinking about picking up an airbrush and trying some new painting techniques? Or what about sprucing up your gaming table and getting some new terrain and battle maps? Then consider getting it with Elemental Games. But enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Be young me. In the grocery store with mom. That day I'd failed the test in school and was stressed about telling my mom. Stress triggers my OCD bad. Mom tells me to go get pears. I grab a bag for the pears. Sudden compulsion to throw something. It has to be a pear. I try to resist. It's no use. I wait for what I thought was no one watching me and grab the biggest pear. Throw it as hard as I can across the grocery store. I hear it hit the ceiling and then splutter on the ground in an aisle across from produce. The whole time my mom is watching me. She asked me why I did it. I told her because I had to. She took me to a therapist the next day. B 18th birthday. B hanging with few friends out at my house after my parents left for the weekend. We decide to get drunk off everything in the liquor cabinet. Whenever I get drunk or high, I become even more impulsive. Friends all chilling in basement playing Smash Bros. Friends says something about me constantly counting numbers off under my breath. This triggers me. I take the bottle of liquor and have urge to smash it onto his head. It didn't even break. Sickening sound. Whole entire group of friends stares at me in horror. I say sorry a million times. Tell me I need help. They grab the guy who I hit in the head and help him stumble out of my house as I yell for them to stay. They drive him to a hospital. I text them a million times for the next few days. None of them ever respond. Last time I ever saw them. I don't drink anymore. B16. Father takes me shooting. Mom warns him about my OCD, but he shrugs it off. I didn't see my dad much. We go to local indoor range. He brings his Glock. He gives me basic lessons and safety things. Seeing my dad and the pressure to impress him made me super anxious. Shoot at paper target. He brings it in and tells me how I should adjust my stance. See guy next to me accidentally shoot the floor and the range staff come in and give him shit. My dad says, what a fucking idiot, really loudly. Have sudden impulse to shoot at the floor. My dad puts up fresh target and sends it out on the range. He tells me to aim center mass. I can't help myself and I just shoot straight into the floor. He looks at me in shock. Range staff comes in and starts yelling at him. He talks to them and then tells me it's okay. Accidents happen. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Noticeably angered, but he's trying to keep cool. He tells me to try again, and I tell him I can't. He says we need to finish the rest of the ammo he bought. I tell him I can't. He asks why. Too embarrassed to tell him why. He hands me the gun back and helps me set up my stance. He takes a step back. 
I cringe hard because I know what's about to happen. I shoot again into the ground directly in front of me. He grabs me on the shoulder hard and looks me in the eyes. Why are you doing this? I am speechless. Range staff come in and tell us to pack up our shit and leave. He grabs gun and quickly throws everything into range bag. He walks out of there fast ahead of me and I just follow behind him. We get into his truck. He stares at me blankly for a few seconds and then starts the car. The whole ride home was dead silent except for when I compulsively started counting under my breath. He drops me off at home and tells my mother I am psychotic and dangerous. Keep him away from guns. Dad drives off without saying anything to me. Prom. Take date. Her friends warn her about me saying I'm OCD Tourette Psycho. Apparently my looks outweigh the apparent craziness. She tells me, oh it's fine Anon, I'm kinda OCD too, lol. Go to pick her up. Nervous but not too bad tonight. She gets in car, we get the talking. Mention something about everyone saying I'm Tourette's or something. Say, oh no, just kinda OCD. Nervous as fuck. Compulsion to accelerate rapidly. Literally going 80 miles per hour down suburban streets. She is screaming, but I won't listen. Compulsion lets up a few minutes later, but the damage is done. She is freaking the fuck out. She half jumps from the car at a red light. Ask her if she wants a ride home. No, you crazy asshole, I'm calling my dad to come get me here. Okay, drive slowly home. Get out of prom clothes. Play Xbox till 2 a.m. Contemplating life. And that's the end of the tale of OCD Anon. I was actually in this thread when it came up. It was a wild fucking read. And ironically, a few years later after I got my training certifications, I had to train someone on the pistol who was OCD. She kept wanting to smack the side of her face when, when she would mess up or not reload right. And it was a challenge to get her to like work through those kind of issues. I was, I was not prepared for that, I'll tell you much. And now, for a bonus story. You guys like bonus stories. Commandos vs. Harry Potter. Always a good one. Dawn over Hogwarts. Not a single animal stirs in the mist. As the magical defenders begin weaving their shield, the comrades prepare. Summoned from across the globe, promise wealth when they arrived. Behind the magical walls they stand ready. Ancient nuggets gripped in Dorito-stained hands. Tactical ARs are held close to massive guts. Uniforms from short shorts to asbestos filled gas masks adorn them. Suddenly they appear. Over the hills come mask clad figures in black cloaks. The forms of giants and werewolves can be seen in their midst. Though some of the werewolves were oddly plush and brightly colored. Among them all are other commandos. Similarly armed and outfitted to the defenders, they begin to fire at the shield. Death Eaters join them to little effect. For what seems like hours, the pale form of Voldemort emerges. With the wave of his wand, the impenetrable shield falls. As he finally moves to address his minions, a single voice cries out, FUCKING FINALLY! Voldemort's head explodes as a 762 by 54 millimeter bullet carves its way through his noseless face. Out of the stunned silence, the same voice screams, Eat real fucking NATO, snake boy! Pandemonium ensues. Explosives planted in the Hogwarts towers detonate, raining debris onto the magical defenders. Gunmen turn on their allies, mowing them down in cold blood. A couple of Polacks can be seen chasing a goblin with some house elves screaming about- <laughs> A couple of Polacks can be seen chasing a goblin and some house elves screaming about magic. Dozens of furries dogpile the werewolves. Legs full of silver bullets, the beasts can only howl as they are dragged into the forest. Twenty or so Death Eaters somehow manage to regroup. Their killing spells form a ring of dead as their combined shields block the bullets from all sides. A noise causes one to glance up just in time for a 308 to punch through his mask. The rest are gunned down by a handful of men in short shorts, hanging from a helicopter and screaming about the liberation of Rhodesia because Rhodesians never die. 
Back in the castle, an overweight, trench-coated commando locks his katana with Neville Longbottom's blade. Behind them, Ivan screams Russian profanity at a group of wizards as he mows them down. His curses cause all the butterbeer in the area to transmute to vodka. A group of witches motions to a woman to come with them to shelter. She follows the girls, then pulls out the Glock she'd been using as a butt plug. The Glockinade goes off, turning the witches and trap into mulch. Harry Potter, having seen an action movie or two, grabs a fallen AR to try and defend himself. Ron does the same, and he immediately blows both their heads off because he's a clumsy fuck. Finally, the shooting slows. Hundreds of dead on all sides. Only commandos still stand. Moving from body to body, putting bullets in some, marking others for later. One finds Malfoy still alive. The effeminate cunt is put to work on the spot. A pile of trips line one wall. Everyone agrees that they were definitely killed by magic that caused holes in the back of the head. The furries return from the force, now oddly resistant to the occasional shots sent their way. Wright and Draw friends work together to immediately document this glorious occasion. The now vodka is broken out and toast of victory in the dead ring late into the night. During that drunken celebration, a man with an FAL speaks up. So when will Rhodesia be liberated next? 500 tickets for Zimbabwe purchased for the next day. On a side note, did I really just say 762 by 54 NATO? Fuck me. You did. And your shame will live on forever in the minds of many. The many viewers on Neckbeardia, speaking of which, if you like these stories and others like them, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel of Neckbeardia, as well as click the bell icon so- Weird burp, I apologize. So you know when the videos are released through the week. If you like original stories written fresh off the press, more than likely twice a week knowing my current schedule, stop by Garbeardia and listen to the Veil vale Rider and or Emily Braun series and stop in there and click all the buttons and all of the junk. But this has been Garbro and this is Nick Beardia. <laughs>